lighten up. I'm just making a point. I'm not that kind of big bad wolf. You know, he's a little alter ego. You know, he's my alter ego. <laughs> and it's fun to kind of grow closer to this guy that was sort of like an enemy at the beginning. You see them like I see them, right? Well, you think I know everything about every creature out there? I just need your help until I can figure something else out. Even though it's dangerous and it's sort of fraught with peril, I can get something out of working with him. This might be a little awkward, but what's my favorite color? What? Bluebot, Fuchsbout, Jungschlein. He never asked me about anything else. Do you know, like normal conversation? What's your favorite color? Red. It's awkward, and that's what's sort of funny about it. It's these two guys that are like sort of misfits. <laughs> this is one of the things I love about the premise of the show, which is that the creatures <laughs> are representative of behavioral tendency. Looks like a spinatod. They're like the black widows of their world. They kill after sex, which to my way of thinking kind of ruins the evening. Psychological, mythological parable. I think season two is really going to be about Nick coming to grips with being a Grim and having to fight harder than he's had to fight before <laughs> against worse enemies. Something that would be interesting would be to have Monroe's good nature really tested. Because Monroe wants to be good and is doing good. <sighs> Sorry. And I think it would be interesting to see what would happen if, if someone did something to him that really made him want to get even. Okay, that went a little too far. 